hi, I am from Latin America, most specifically Maxi Mexico. I wanted to ask you, what are your views on strengthening ties between India and Latin America? Since the Chinese are already settling their, setting their influ influence in places like Argentina, I think they would quickly start colonizing us with their companies and there isn't much we can do since innovation is unfortunately not something associated with Hispanic countries, including Spain. So in my opinion, it would become necessary to increase our ties with India. The problem is that India is usually overlooked when it comes to foreign relationships in basically most Latin American nations. And I also don't really know if this would convene India. So I want to know your views about this subject. A very interesting question. And what's even more interesting is that the foreign minister of Argentina is right now, as we speak, in India. And it's also very interesting that today he held a, a presentation, a meeting, a conference, what it was, about the status of the Malvinas Islands. The Malvinas Islands are known in the English-speaking world as the Falkland Islands. They are currently occupied by the United Kingdom, even though they are right next to Argentina. And Argentina has a claim on these islands, a historic claim on the islands, but the British have currently captured and occupied these islands. So the foreign minister of Argentina on Indian soil gave a presentation about the status of the Malvinas Islands exactly in the same room and from the same spot where 48 hours before the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson had made an address. Isn't that very interesting? So it is an indicator of a certain strengthening of the relationship between India and Argentina coming closer of the two nations in a certain way. I, I believe that the uh, chief guest in the recent Republic Day celebrations in India was, whether it is this one or the previous Republic Day, it was the uh, president of Brazil, Mr. Bolsonaro. So there again, you see some kind of cooperation happening, some kind of relationship building happening. I'm not sure what the relationship between India and Mexico is, but it is now very clear that India is making a significant diplomatic outreach to Latin America. We may still, it may still take some time for its results to be visible on the ground, but there is an increasing focus in India towards Latin America especially the larger countries like Brazil and Argentina. I would also consider Mexico to be a very important country in Latin America. And I'm sure that India will be focusing on Mexico as well. I think there is a great deal of um, affinity in a variety of ways between India and Mexico, right? So, uh, and as you say, the Chinese have been making moves in Latin America for at least the past 12 to 15 years. And we know very well what sort of uh, checkbook diplomacy they employ. They go and target the corrupt politicians in various countries and they have a significant, uh, significant amount of funding that they can offer to these corrupt politicians, which gives them access to all the resources of these countries. They have been doing this in Africa, in Sri Lanka. They've tried that with Nepal. They've tried it with various Southeast Asian countries. They have tried it in various Latin American countries and it will eventually, if this continues, result in the Chinese colonization of these countries. And the Chinese will become masters of all the resources, the raw materials, natural resources that these countries can provide. So that would not be beneficial for the people of the country and the economy of the country. That will not be a good thing. On the other hand, India does not engage in such predatory practices. India tries to engage in mutually beneficial relationships. So I would say that India would be a much better partner for the countries of Latin America. And all relationships should be based on mutual benefit and mutual respect. So I think India can offer a, a, a much better deal. Of course, India does not have the deep pockets to give bribes the, with the Chinese can. And that's why maybe some, some in some countries, the politicians or the leaders may not be so open to welcoming India at this stage. I've said in the past, all countries do not, unfortunately, pursue their national interest. 
sometimes you have certain politicians who pursue their own personal interests and which is why countries suffer especially when they have these corrupt politicians who are ruling them i am not specifying any any country in particular but it has been known that in southern america in latin america there has been corruption and there have been corrupt leaders in the past so that's one factor that we have to be uh, cognizant of right so i would certainly say that india is going to focus more uh, more on latin america in the coming years the coming decade for sure and i hope to see closer cooperation and more indian investment into the in, in these countries and better relationships economic relationships uh diplomatic relationships even people to people relationships tourism tourism trade and all those things which will be really good for india as well as latin america so that's something that i am really hopeful about